In this lesson, you will learn that testing your use cases against the instance model is an important step for your modeling process. Thus far, you have seen that you design the data model on paper, whiteboard, or with a tool like the Arrows app. You use the use cases to design the data model that includes labels for nodes, relationship types and direction, and properties for the nodes and relationships. You have also populated the graph to implement the data model with a small set of test data as shown here. To ensure that the graph can satisfy every use case, you must test the use cases against the graph. For example, here is our first use case. And here is the cipher to support it where we specify the movie title. In your use case descriptions, you may want to document what the expected result will be for a specific title used in the query. For this query, the results should be the rows Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. As you go through the use cases, you may think of more data that you want to add to the graph to round out the testing. The cipher code used to test the use cases also needs to be carefully reviewed for correctness. In addition, you must understand that the graph may need to be refactored, which we cover in the next module. In some cases, the cipher code for these use cases may need to be modified. The basic testing to ensure that the use cases can be answered by the data model is the first step of testing. A really important factor with testing the graph is scalability. How will these queries perform if the graph has millions of nodes and relationships? This is where you need to work with Cypher developers to test the performance of the queries when the graph grows. In the next challenge, you will test each use case by executing the Cypher code for the use cases. This concludes our look at how testing your use cases against the instance model is an important step in your modeling process.